Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. So in this dragonfly video, I'm gonna be using soft pastel pink from Nao, um, Afterglow from Glam and Glitz. I love this one. I'll show you it at the end, what the color glows, what it glows like. Oh. Clear Candy from Team Gorgeous, Diamond Dust from Nail Sugar. This is one that you should always have with you and some clear crystals from Nail Sugar. So I can't remember the lady's name, but um, there was a lady that commented on one of my videos asking if I would do a dragonfly nail. So this is me doing a dragonfly nail. <laughs> um, the base colour that we're going to use on the nail is the soft pastel pink. Um, I still haven't mastered big beads, so I'm going to do the nail in a few beads. Um, and while the acrylic at the bottom half of the nail is still wet, I'm just going to dip my wet brush into that glitter and pat it onto the wet acrylic. Because the acrylic at the top will have set, I'm just going to pick up a small bead of clear, dip it into my glitter, and I'm going to cover the top of the nail with that. And remember, what was the mantra? I can't remember. You only need a diddy bead. <laughs> Remember, we've got to cap this in clear as well, so you don't want to make the nail too bulky. You only need a diddy bead. So yeah. So I'm going to cover the whole nail in diamond dust. This is one that I could not live without. It's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. So now I'm going to cap the nail in clear, making sure I cover the whole nail. And then as usual, I will just go ahead and file and buff it so that we're ready to add our dragonfly wings. So this is it filed and buffed. I've changed rooms. I'm just a bit conscious of the, the, the noisy fan. I don't want it to be annoying in the background. <laughs> So I'm using my CBD no wipe top coat just to top coat the nail. Um, Annabelle M, we're going to use Chiara Sky Base to adhere some crystals onto this. And Annabelle M said that if you top coat the nail, uh, you need to clean the surface of the nail before you put the base with the crystals on. Otherwise, the crystals will be wobbling around. Um, they'll be sliding all over the nail. So I just, oh, just wanted to show off this diamond dust. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to cure that in the lamp um, for 60 seconds. Now it's cured. I'm just going to go over the top with, I'm just going to spray some alcohol onto, look, it looks like it's going all over my hands, not the, not the wipe. Um, so I'm just going to wipe that, wipe the top of the nail. And I can, um, it did make a difference because I've done it before without wiping the nail. And to, yeah, it did make a difference today. So I'm going to be using the, these are the premium cut clear crystals in mixed sizes from Nail Sugar and the Afterglow acrylic from Glam and Glitz. So to create the wings, we're going to take a small bead and we're going to drain the liquid out of the back of the brush. This is a size 5 3D brush from Glitter Planet. So you can see I really made sure I drained all that liquid out. Glam and Glitz is a wet system and we don't want the bead running all over the place. So to create the dragonfly's wing, it's basically like, if you'd have seen my video, previous video on how to create daisies, it's a bit like creating a daisy petal, but we're elongating it, making it longer. So I'm just shaping it out and pushing it and pressing and shaping and stuff <laughs> and stuff and things um, until I'm happy with the shape I wish I'd realized that, you know I wish I'd realized before I started this that I would I should have put the dragonfly a little bit further down the nail you'll see why in a bit So I'd done this one in real time so that you could see how much I faff. <laughs> no, it's just so that you could see how long it took me to do. So that is my first wing. And then I'm going to take a slightly smaller bead. Again, draining out all the liquid from the back of the brush. And then this goes underneath the bigger wing. And then now, so I've sped this up a bit. 
but all we're doing is exactly the same as we did for the top wing we're going to do the same for the bottom wing but this wing is going to be slightly smaller obviously because we've taken a smaller bead um, and yeah we don't want it to be the same size we want it to be slightly smaller so once I've finished and I'm happy I'm going to go ahead and do exactly the same on the other side of the nail and this is what it looks like so then I'm going to take my crystals and my Kiara Sky base and we're going to use the crystals to create the dragonfly's body I kind of wish I'd used different coloured crystals but I, th I just wanted to keep it simple and not and just neat and simple so I thought I'd use the clear ones so I've taken some out and I've put them in a little uh, in a little row so I'm going to start with the bigger crystals at the top I did go out a shot here a little bit but you can see I've just put a little bit of Chiara Sky base at the top and then I'm going to place that biggest crystal so that's going to be like the dragonfly's head and then I'm going to just place some more of the Chiara Sky base down the nail and as I go the crystals will taper off so they will get smaller as we progress down the dragonfly's body I didn't quite want that one to stick there but it didn't look too bad in the end <laughs> I think it's because it's hot the, the resin just is just, just everything's drying really quickly so you, you can see now what I mean the dragonfly is very high up the nail so just because I've got a lot of space left over at the bottom I just go ahead and create half a daisy. I didn't show me doing this. Um, it's just the same as the wings, only you make them fatter. So it just fills out that gap a little bit. Um, you could do kind of like a little trail. I don't know, but so where we've got the crystals, if you haven't got any crystals, you could hand paint the body. And where we've put the wings, you could also hand paint the wings and leave the crystal body there if you're not very good at 3D art. So you can mix it up a bit. You don't have to keep it exactly as I've done it. Um, this was it. This is how, this, oh, I just love the color of this one. This is probably my favorite. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. And I will see you lovely lot in the next one. Bye.